a new band of rebels arose who were determined to carry the fight to Jerusalem. The Sicarii. To the Sicarii. Anyone who wasn't fighting the Romans was a collaborator and worthy of death. Many were slain every day, and the fear men were in is worse than the calamity itself. Ignorant, all right. Yeah, uh, 
gonna go back to the Genesis a little quick. Because uh, I've been dealing with a lot of different Christians lately, man, and uh, what I'm finding with all of them is that they all are in the, the New Testament, but they don't understand what was going on in the Old Testament. And when it comes to the Bible, it's the only book on planet Earth that people think they can open it to the middle of the book and start reading from there and actually understand what's going on in it, all right? To understand this Bible, if you don't know who Abraham is and his relevance, if you don't know who Jacob is and his relevance, Isaac is and his relevance, you don't understand the Bible at all. And also, if you don't understand this Old Testament, there's 0% chance of understanding the New Testament. You have 0% chance of getting it, all right? So uh, let me get uh, Genesis uh, 12 chapter. What's going on? Every time it came declaring the end from the beginning, all right? So we have to go to the beginning to understand what he was talking about. What's going to happen in the end? All right, go ahead. Uh, one. Yeah. The book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 1. When the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred. Right, go ahead. Verse 1. And from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation and right. will bless thee. Now, this is the Lord's first time appearing to Abraham. His name isn't even Abraham yet, it's Abel, all right? Now, the way the Lord's dealing with this man in the Bible, the Lord made everybody on the planet Earth, but the Lord's only dealing with Abraham like that. He isn't dealing with everybody else like that, all right? You have to understand that. Go ahead. And make thy name great, thou shalt be a blessing. Verse 3, I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curses thee. All right, so if you bless Abraham and his people, the Lord said he's going to bless you. If you curse Abraham and his people, then you got curses coming towards you. All right? That's, right. That's why the white man has curses coming, because of what he did to God's people. All right? That's right. And in they shall all families of the earth be blessed. That's right. All the families of the earth shall be blessed to Abraham. These are promises that the Lord made to this one person in the very beginning of the Bible. All right? So everybody can't just take this and apply it to themselves. You have to find out if your line goes back to this man. All right? Go uh, to Genesis. Jump down to uh, verse 6 to 7.
you're the heir to all of your father's stuff. You know what I'm saying? Being the oldest. The old man, uh, the eldest, was going to serve the younger. So the second kid that comes out, as long as they dead, he was going to be ruling over his brother's people, all right? So right there, the Lord showed me that he deals with separation. It was his whole plan before this kid's moving on. Now, watch this, Lamar. Verse 12. It was said unto her, that, I mean, verse 13, as it is written, Jacob's written, go ahead. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God said he loved Jacob. That was the one, the youngest twin. The oldest twin, he said, I hated Esau. That's what the Lord just said. I just like that. Yeah. Uh, nine, Romans 9 and 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So that's what was written. So that means this is the New Testament. This is Paul reiterating what was happening in the Old Testament. Let's read where it was written. You know why he hated Esau, right? Why? I know why I hate you, so. Why, why do you say? No, I mean, you can get a shit. I mean, I mean, we're, we're dialoguing, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. There's no right or wrong answer. It's simply what you think. Nah, I know the answer. Exactly. You might have some dialogue. I'm from Brazil. I want you to tell me why. He hated you, so, because he forgave him to be here. That was his own plan. Oh. Okay, so then what was it? Because he saw the birthright over a meal. He was going to sell his birthright before he did. That's what he just said before he did. Is it anything good or bad? Set up, he knew what was going to happen from the very, very jump. God knew, but he still had to make that choice. Or else we'll all be robots. God knows it is, right? We're, we're pretty much all. You know we're pretty much all robots. Everybody's life is already set, sealed, signed, and delivered. That's why the Lord said in the very beginning that people's name is written in the book of life. So people, before you were even born, your name is already in this book. Huh. So how could that be? You know what I'm saying? Right. Let me get a try. Right. No, I understand what you said. It was already so they're already gonna they they have their mind set on like blasting another country with nuclear missiles or invading or raiding another another uh, another city or another country. They're, they're gonna do that because Proverbs 2 1 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as a river of water. He turns it with his soul, however he will. You see that? You see it? Are you going to lower his hand up? Alright, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turns it with his soul, however he will. The king's heart is in his hand. Whatever he like water, he can turn the heart and do whatever he wants him to do. It's just like when the Israelites were in Egypt. Remember that? Remember the Pharaoh? Remember Moses took a stick and threw it down on the ground and turned it into a snake? And what did God say? He said, Pharaoh's not going to let you guys go yet. He said, so I'm going to make his heart hard, so I'm going to do some more shit. Now, if I take this paper and throw it down to the ground and it turns into a snake, you're probably going to listen to what I got to say. But the Pharaoh didn't, even though it normally would have, because God said, I'm going to make him not let you guys go, because I'm going to keep doing more shit to him. You know what I'm saying? So God, like, the Lord is in control of everything. Let me, let me ask you a question. Okay, since you mentioned it, you know, the one around here, the one Now, before that, that, uh, Pharaoh's people did that to the one around the snake, and then hit their snake. Their snake, their snake, their snake ain't there. Yeah, so, I want to know, that they must have had, they had power, but they didn't have as much power. Yeah, they had. It was just as a short They had, yeah. It was on the floor. Like, the Lord deals with left hand side, right hand side. You don't, like, you know how they call it, you know? Yeah. Which they, the word demon is not in the Bible, but that evil spirit, mm -hmm. and the evil, that's right spirit, and the evil spirit, right, it's the same thing. So dealing with the right hand power and the left hand power, they're going to say, they're half there, the left hand side, the left hand side, the whole bunch of things, right? Or Malachi 1 and 4. 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 Malachi 1 and 4. Paul just said that was as it was written, all right? This is where it was written. Go ahead. I'm going to start in verse 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Verse 1, burden, the burden of the words of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, verse 2, I loved you, saith the Lord. Yet you say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob, verse 3, and I hated Esau, I hated Esau yeah. and laid his mountains in his heritage, waiting for the dragon. So, so hold on to the white man's heritage, too, you know what I'm saying? Keep it open. That's why you don't, know, like, it's like, it's like, you see the Indians with Richard Asson up there, that's the heritage. The white man doesn't have the heritage, you know what I'm saying? It's not open, man, he's still doing white man, that's why we watch the Indian, the Egyptians, the Israelites, you know, he must be everybody, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is all the why you came up here and I asked you, what is your guys It's like, what would your guys do? What kind of dance did you guys do? What did you guys go through? They don't know. Because the Lord said, they're here. They're really going to help you. Can you give me these examples? Uh, 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 uh,
was on a host, they saw Bill, but I was on him. Right. They saw Paul in the border. Like, and they shall call in the border of wickedness. Yeah, now, 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 it says, they're going to call these guys the border of wickedness. All right, talking about some people that the God says that he hates, all right? He said, we're going to call them the border of wickedness. So wherever he's going is, is the wickedness, all right? Paul? It says, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. And the people against whom the Lord has indignation forever. Indignation means anger aroused righteousness. So the Lord has righteous anger with a certain nation of people on the planet Earth forever. And I didn't write that, you know what I'm saying? This is the Old Testament, now we go to the New Testament. You see, Paul is reiterating that. Matter of fact, give me a verse of the verse of the verse of the verse of the verse Or limitations for 
22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Now watch this one, brother. Six, yeah, this white man got hell to pay, man. He, he, he wants to tell everybody to remember 9-11, but then tell us to forget about slavery. Remember the Holocaust, only six million people died, supposedly, but a hundred million of us died just being brought here. We're not talking about what happened once we got off the boats, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 77 million natives got murdered on this land that we're standing on. I don't have a problem with that. We're going to get that to a number. Oh, he's still being actually, murdered. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me get, let me get three and I'm going to read the first one. Or Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Right, this is the Lord speaking against his people. You know what I'm saying? Hear this word that I've spoken against you guys. Go ahead. Um, the, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, uh, verse 2, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. The Lord made all the nations on earth, but he's telling one specific nation of people, you guys only have I known of all these nations, because you guys are my chosen nation. All right, go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Of course, I'm going to punish you guys for your iniquities. Now, read one, and then jump back to the floor and go on the Huh? 
God through Christ. He didn't put the human, human Christ with this false like human matter. Fear of God is your what? Fear of God, man. No, no, fear of God is your what? What, disciples? Disciples. Follow the Christian. Christians. Follow the Fear of God is your dead, bro. Jesus still loves. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. But what does that have to do with the words these guys wrote? The words ain't true because they died? No, no, no. This is what Jesus said during those times. Jerusalem, and real. Hey, bro, I'm about to go back to my father, man. You feel me? Here. I need, I need you to hold it down. I need you to hold it down. Can I, can I say something? Come on, bro. No, in the Old Testament, it's prophesied about the Christ. There's many different scriptures talking about the coming of Jesus Christ on earth. So don't through that. Don't sleep by your logic. By your logic. By your logic. You're saying that all the people the people that prophesied Christ about him coming alive, we know he came alive. When they died, those words were a thing. Basically, when you're, basically what you're saying right now is the exact same thing. You're saying that every so because they're because they're dead, their words are you know, worth it. No, 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 no. I'm just saying because God's words don't die. I'm so seeing, I'm I'm seeing when God them. was in Israel doing when Jesus was in Israel during those times, bro. Yeah, here, man. I'm setting, I'm setting, I'm leaving you to be the ghost of God. This is 2017. So Jesus is in all, 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 all the words, but we shouldn't read about it now. No, 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 that's true. Cool. We should be living the word. But how do you live it without reading it? You gotta, you gotta read it to know how to live it. You're Romans 15 and 3. Because, so, I have a question. Do you care, do you care about the past? I care about the past. These words are from the past, and some of these words happen from the past. Here, but they're going. So we're going to read the scriptures. We're going to read them. But they say, but these, these scriptures that these the people that call Christ, these disciples, the apostles, mean something. Because, because uh, I believe what's his name? John the Revelator, Saint John. This this man is prophesying in the Book of Revelation. I'm gonna get to your point. Book of Revelation, he prophesied a lot about the things that are happening right to the very day. So because he's dead, he died on the island of Cap Capro. Back then, that means I that his words were... I just want to ask you one thing. I just want to ask you one thing. You got 10,000 hours of consistent study of the word? We got more. You got more than 10,000 hours? I'm pretty sure we have. I'm pretty sure we have. Do you have... Do you have... Do you have... Do you have 10,000 hours of study of the word? No, I'm just going to ask you one question. Then I got another question. I don't know. I look... I'm going to just say this. I don't, I don't know how much, how many hours. I'm pretty sure it's been, it's been, it's been like a couple, couple yeah. years. <laughs> so, no, no, but is there, that doesn't matter because wisdom is not meant, the scripture says wisdom, wisdom is not meant in the late of time. So we're just going to read this for you real quick. This is Romans chapter 15, the third verse. It says, uh, for even Christ pleased not himself. Oh, for, 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 for,
that our crew is not going to be in the land until the end time, until we, we are uh, put back in the land. Don't believe the hype! I'm saying this. I'm saying this. It's not raining. Jesus is perfect. And he still got baptized in the Jordan River. Hey, what's the rain at though? So it's like, come on, bro. Hey, 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 hey,
Joseph may have had all these kids that are biologically by blood DNA you say, but if you might be talking to your dad, Jesus said there will be preachers. Look, you guys out here preaching. And yeah, we can all die today. And Jesus said, man, there will be preachers. Man, he said, hey, I don't know you, man, of iniquity. Yeah, I'm talking about people. He said, God said, there's people who said they I cast out demons. Like, so these are people. Hey, but, but there's some people that won't make it. There's some people that did cast out demons who are going to make it, right? Yeah. Right? Or everybody who's preaching is not going to make it no more. Hey, hey, hey I'm hey, trying to pass this. Yeah, but, but, but we can apply that. We can apply that to the same thing. Just because you fly and get baptized in the Jordan River don't mean that the Lord's going to come get you either. We can all say that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I believe all those that got baptized in the Jordan River. Hey, look, 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 bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, 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 I have a question. So, so you go, you have you have a congregation, right? Now, according to the Bible, I'm church. I'm going to church. I'm going to church. I'm going to church. I'm going to church. Okay. Okay. Do you go in? So, are you in the building? Huh? You're in the building, right? Like, you got a building. The church has the church building. Yeah, okay, so according to the scriptures, do you, according to the scriptures, I mean, do you believe that the Bible says to go on the scene before we come out the Or does it say come out the scene? The Bible said, uh, she little as hell. She said, don't be a little bit of
before we even came over here into slavery. So there was nothing you could do. The worst one, he'd have to us some kind of way. So he had to treat, treat it to us his way, serve it to us the law. And treat, his people, uh, basically say that, that he's white, his people are God's chosen people, but they're white, you know what I'm saying? And erase the whole name of Edom out of the Bible. Right. You talk about Israel, you gotta talk about his sweet brother Edom, who God says he hates. Most people don't know about Edom, go ahead. Let me, let me bring this precept over. This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. No more, no, no bigger fornicator or profane person than Esau, Jacob's twin brother, go ahead. Who, oh, for one morsel of meat, sold his birthright. Oh, his birthright. Uh, piece of meat, and you know he's a damn snake. Because for one, the Lord already said it was going to happen. Then he goes and sells his birthright to his brother. Then he still, even though he sold his birthright to his brother, he still going to go back home and have his damn blessing. You know what I'm saying? So you know he was with you, man. For he knows how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, right. he was rejected, for he found a place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Oh. It says, uh, read the last part again. No, he sought it carefully. Oh, 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 okay. Um, he was rejected. Or start up all the way, verse 17. Verse 17, for ye know, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing. Afterward, he would have gotten the blessing. You know what I'm saying? That's what was supposed to happen. Go ahead. He was rejected. He was rejected. Go ahead. For he found no place of repentance. No, no, it's not about repentance. No he saw it carefully, quit here. Even though he cried, he go back to uh, Genesis. He 